Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Peachboro Community College for tonight's women's basketball matchup between the Bronx Community College Broncos and the Greensboro Community College Tigers. Fans, at this time we ask everyone to please rise as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming Ladies and gentlemen, while both teams are wishing each other the best of luck tonight, we would like to take this opportunity to thank some of our sponsors, Modell Sporting Goods, Metro PCS, Applebee's, and Don Edison. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet, dressed in the road green with the white trim, the number three seed, Bronx Community College Broncos. Leading the Broncos is the coaching staff of Peter Savina, Jasper Cruz, Lupinia Bryan. Starting for the Broncos at the guard position, a freshman standing 5 foot 8 from Theodore Roosevelt High School, number one, Ivaliz Escobar. At the forward position, a 5 8 sophomore out of Truman High School, number 10, Izan Colon. High School, number 12, Dore Murray. At the guard position, a 5'4 sophomore out of Canyon High School in Mount Vernon, number 13, Chelsea Harris. And at the center position, a 5'9 freshman out of New World High School, number 15, Kaylee Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx Community College Broncos. And their opponent, the number one seed, Queensboro Community College Tigers. Led by the coaching staff of David Chambers, Sabrina Moore, Teresa Rodriguez, and Alicia Sanchez. Starting at the guard position, a 5'8 sophomore out of John Adams High School, number 24, Chantana Penhorn. At the guard position, a 5'5 freshman out of St. Francis Prep, number 32, Hachka Fidel. At the forward position, a 5'8 freshman out of law enforcement and public safety high school, number 33, Whitney Hogan. At the forward position, a 5'11 freshman out of law enforcement and public safety high school, number 34, Tandisha Carroll. And at the guard position, a 5'3 sophomore out of Mountain Man here at high school, number 55, Chesel Prentice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queensboro Community College Tigers. This is QCC alum David Russell, the Queensboro Lady Tigers, 40 minutes away from winning the CUNY championship. Only the Lady Broncos from Bronx Community College stand in the way. The starting five for Queensboro, Santana Canoy, Dashka Fidel, Whitney Hogan, Candija Carroll, and Giselle Prentice. The starting five for Bronx, Hivalese Escobar, Isaac Colon, DeRay Murray, Chelsea Harris, and Kaylee Rodriguez. 
And the opening tip is won by Queensboro. And Kanoi with the first basket of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Community College Women's Basketball Championship. Kanoi was named CUNY first team, as was Prentice, and there's a turnover by the Bronx. Kandija Carroll won Rookie of the Year, and Queensboro led by David Chambers, who yesterday was named CUNY Coach of the Year. Standing in the way is the Player of the Year, Hivalese Escobar. Had 29 points the other night in the semifinal win against LaGuardia. Prentice to Kanoi. Kanoi for three, and it's good. Kanoi with five early points. Five nothing, Queensboro. And another turnover. Something to keep in mind, Bronx Community College has never beaten Queensboro. The Lady Tigers are 6-0 all time. That includes two wins earlier this year. At Bronx by 17 and in Bayside by 25. Carroll to Hogan. Hogan is fouled. And Queensboro coming off a semifinal win against Hosto, 74-58. And Deja Carroll was the player of the game. 24 points and 21 rebounds. Whitney Hogan at the line. Filled the stat sheet the other night. As she misses the first. She had 9 points, 15 rebounds, 4 blocks, and 4 steals. Kept busy. Hogan misses both free throws. And there's Chelsea Harris with it for the Lady Broncos. So trying to get on the board. Queensboro in a 2-3 zone. Bronx going inside, double teamed. Then they go back out and Prentice takes it away. Giselle Prentice broke up the pass. Prentice. Nice pass to Hogan. Hogan's shot is no good. Bronx with the ball, still 5-0 Queensboro. Escobar going all the way to the basket and it's in. 5-2. Gotta watch out for Escobar, averaging 24 and a half points per game. She scored 29 the other night. Shot 12 for 41 from the field. Fidel puts it in. Nice answer from Dashka Fidel. It's 7-2. It's a long pass, Escobar. Launches his shot and it's good. It's a long two for Escobar. Escobar. 7-4 Queensboro, no secrets when you face the Lady Broncos, you gotta take away Escobar. Also had 16 rebounds the other night against the Lady Redhawks. To go along with those 29 points, Prentice, double teamed, gets it outside to Fidel. Hogan to Kanoi. Dribbles out down to 10 on the shot clock, Kanoi for three. It's long, but the rebound by Fidel outside. Prentice takes a long two and it's good. Giselle Prentice makes it 9-4. And the answer, no good, it rimmed out. Kanoi running. Kanoi is fouled. Kanoi gets up. Only a great season by Hivalese Escobar stopped Kanoi from winning. Stop Kanoi from winning back-to-back uh, -back CUNY Player of the Year awards. As the foul was on to Ray Murray, her first. Prentice's shot is short, Hogan underneath. And the Lady Broncos come away with it. There's a long pass. Murray, Murray going inside. The shot was altered. Shot clock didn't reset. Never hit the rim. Three-pointer is no good. And then Harris had to go through her hands right to Prentice. Prentice, pull up jumper, no good. Carroll the rebound. Carroll couldn't put it in. And here's Hivalese Escobar. Escobar all the way to the basket, and she'll go to the line for two. Something to keep in mind is Bronx missed a three pointer before. They don't take a lot of threes. They only took five the other night against LaGuardia, missed all five as the foul was on Kanoi, her first. Kanoi picked up four the other night. Escobar makes it 9-5. All five points for the Lady Broncos.
Queensboro, a little deeper than Bronx, but Escobar could really keep a team around. LaGuardia actually led Bronx by 15 halfway through the first half the other night as it's now 9-6. So Ladesi Gonzalez is in now for Queensboro. Lady Tigers lead 9-6. About three and a half minutes in. There's Kanoi being guarded by Escobar. Fidel. Kanoi to Prentice. Prentice puts up a three and it's no good. Fidel the rebound, shot clock down to 10. Prentice is called for double dribble. Prentice finished with 12 points and six assists the other night against Hostos. Struggled a bit from the field, four for 19. Now Bronx has the ball down 9-6. Queensboro in their 2-3 zone. Escobar. Out Murray. Rodriguez. Good ball movement and then it's taken away. Prentice cuts through a crowd of Broncos. Counted and the foul. Prentice makes it 11-6. Great moves by Prentice. Nothing but green jerseys around. And that's the first foul on Escobar. Prentice couldn't finish the conventional three-point play. It's still 11-6. Escobar, long pass to Murray outside Rodriguez. Escobar puts up a long two. And Prentice there with the rebound. Queensboro leading 11-6. Gonzalez asking for it, gets it, shoots, and misses. Kanoi there with the rebound. Kanoi flew in. Give Queensboro another chance. Prentice with the ball. Swing pass. Got to Gonzalez. That's a little behind Prentice. Murray over pursued. And Carroll puts it in off glass. 13-6. Queensboro's lead is up to seven. And Carroll with their first points after scoring 24 the other night on 11 for 21 shooting. And there's a foul against Queensboro. Queensboro foul charged to number 22. It's on number 22, Ludesi Gonzalez. That's the first, team's second. Queensboro with 13 points in the first five minutes. Escobar, that's a long two and it's good. Escobar with all eight points for the Lady Broncos. It's 13-8. Kanoi calling out the play. Prentice back to Kanoi. Kanoi going inside, nice pass to Gonzalez and Gonzalez finishes. 15-8, Queensboro. Bronx trying to answer back, Escobar. Kick out, Murray. Murray going inside and the shot is no good. Rebounded by Gonzalez and here's Kanoi running. Kanoi to three on two, bounce pass, Prentice. Lost it in a crowd and a tie up is called. This is called a jump ball on the play. Bronx will have it on the alternating possession arrow. Queensboro leading 15-8 in their 2-3 zone. I think if Bronx wants to pull off the upset here, you're gonna have to keep it close for a while. Queensboro has won eight CUNY games this year, including the playoff one the other night. They've all been by double digits. Their one loss was a close game at LaGuardia. There's a game with five minutes to go that really favors Bronx. There's a long two, which is no good, then rebounded by Murray. Murray misses. Outside Escobar, there's a long two, and it's good. Escobar with 10 points. It's 15-10 Queensboro. Love Escobar's shots are really long twos. Like a foot on the line. Not too far away from three pointers. Gonzalez 
to Fidel. Kanoi. Kanoi launches at three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Escobar. Kind of fired that shot at the hoop. Escobar outside. Murray will take a three, and that's no good. And Harris couldn't save it. Queensboro ball. And Whitney Hogan going in for QCC. So timeout taken with 12.58 to go. Queensboro leading 15-10. What a job done by Bronx coach Pete Zapata in his second year. This is only the third year of the program. Freddie DeJesus went winless in his first year. Then Zapata took over, won two games last year. One of them was against Kingsborough, so they made the CUNY tournament. They lost the semifinal game by 42 to BMCC. But this year they won four games in the CUNY. And then a good win against LaGuardia the other night, 65-57. LaGuardia was up by 15. Early in the first half, they were still up by eight at halftime. And then outscored LaGuardia 40-24 in the second half. Good team effort. Uh, DeRay Murray had 13 points. Chelsea Harris pulled down 10 rebounds. And they held LaGuardia for, uh, uh, two for 21 shooting from three-point range. Love those threes were taken by Emily Arias, who was two for 12 from downtown. As I mentioned before, the three-pointer not a big weapon in the Broncos arsenal. They were 0 for 5 the other night. And Escobar has all 10 points for the Lady Broncos so far. Queensboro scoring more balance. Kanoi with 5, Prentice with 4, Carroll, Fidel, and Gonzalez all with 2 apiece. So Whitney Hogan back in for Gonzalez. Queensboro leading 15-10. Prentice to Kanoi. There's Fidel taking a three-pointer, and it's no good. And Harris is there with the rebound. There's DeRay Murray. Escobar back to Murray. Still 15 on the shot clock. Escobar being guarded by Fidel. Escobar going baseline, the shot is no good. Tipped, and Queensboro has it. Prentice, Prentice going all the way to the basket, couldn't put it in, Kanoi with the rebound. Pete Zapata not happy with that. A few of the Broncos were looking at the shot instead of boxing out Kanoi. Prentice takes a long two and it's good. Prentice makes it 17-10. Prentice with now with six points. Was named uh, first team all CUNY. As with Shantana Kanoi. Pass inside, Cologne puts it in. And it's 17-12. First Broncos points not scored by Escobar. Over eight minutes into the game. Queensboro up by five. Prentice to Kanoi. Fidel. Pass was picked off by Harris. And Escobar behind the defense, and the pass was behind her. Should have, has, should have had an easy look at a layup. Not a good pass, though, and the shot is no good by Murray. It's an offensive rebound. Rodriguez had her shot blocked. Hogan. Prentice got behind the defense, but nobody saw her. Prentice. Long pass to Fidel, and Fidel throws up an air ball, and it goes to the Broncos. I think she wanted to dribble, but she was gonna be called for traveling, so she just threw up the shot, and it didn't hit the rim. 17-12 Queensboro, 10.50 remaining in the first half. Escobar to Murray. Murray back to Escobar, being guarded by Fidel. The three-pointer rims out. There's an offensive rebound. The putback is no good. Now Queensboro the other way. Prentice 
French is going all the way and is fouled. And that's the second foul on Escobar. Bronx can't really allow Escobar to get in foul trouble. The free throw is good. And it's now 18-12. So I don't think we'll see Pizza Pata taking out Escobar unless he really needs a breather at some point. Prentice looking to make both. And does, it's 19-12. Prentice with eight early points. Queensborough's lead back up to seven. Murray. Escobar Prentice right up on her. Nice pass inside, it's on the floor. Back outside to Escobar. Pass, I don't know if Harris was expecting it. The whistle is blown. Whistle. That was an inadvertent whistle. So Bronx will take it out of bounds. I think the shot clock reset when it shouldn't have, so it's at 11 now. 10.05 to play in the first half. So Lady Broncos have 11 seconds to get off a shot. Escobar was looking to the bench. They're down to five. See if they notice, they have to throw it up. Down to two, down to one. And the shot didn't hit the rim. That's a 30 second violation. There's Murray who took the shot. Giselle Prentice with the ball. Bronx in a two, three zone. Kanoi being guarded by Escobar, Prentice. Gonzalez outside to Hogan. Gonzalez, the jumper is good for Ludesi Gonzalez and it's 21-12 Queensboro. And Gonzalez now has four points. Queensboro lead up to nine. Kanoi guarding Escobar. Prentice right on Murray. Murray outside, Escobar. Trying to take Prentice off the dribble. The long two is no good. And rebounded by Gonzalez. Now Kanoi, nice behind the back dribbling. And gets it to Prentice. And Prentice couldn't put it in. Hogan with the offensive rebound. And she dribbles out. Kanoi to Prentice. Gonzalez outside. And Kanoi. That'll be a backcourt violation. Lady Broncos will have the ball down by nine, 8.44 to go in the first half. Don't want to fall too far behind, and you have to play catch up, like Hostos had to. Hostos trailed by 13 with 15 and a half minutes remaining. Actually cut it to six at one point, but then they lost by 16. And that shot is no good. Tipped and Kanoi has it. Numbers for Queensboro. it's a three on one. Kanoi to Prentice, and Prentice puts it in. Timeout, Pizza Peta. Full. full timeout being called by Pizza Peta. Queensboro leading 23 12 with 8.19 to go in the first. The last few CUNY title games have been pretty good because it was a long run of blowouts. It was a 57-5 game, 63-26, 53-22. It was a 60-12 game, actually. But the last five have been pretty good. Queensboro won by nine, by 10, by two. Then Kingsboro beat Manhattan by nine. And then last year's title game was really good. BMCC beat Hostos 57-53. BMCC actually led 
And then Hostos went on a 20-3 run to cut it to 53-52. And BMCC just held on to win the title. So only a seven player team coached by Veronica Sherman. And BMCC didn't actually field a team this year. There were a few teams. Uh, Kingsborough not, did not make the playoffs this year. They went winless. Coached by former Queensboro coach Bob DiNardo in the rebuilding stages. So Bronx ball after the timeout. Queensboro leads 23-12. And Escobar brings the ball up, facing the 2-3 zone. And here's Yamalit Perez just into the game, and it's turned over. Kanoi going all the way to the basket and lays it in. 25-12, and Escobar didn't want to get too aggressive on D. She's already committed two fouls. Queensborough up by 13. Probably gonna be up to Escobar to keep Bronx in the game. Here's Rodriguez underneath, that's no good, tipped. Perez trying to chase it down and does. Escobar, back to Perez for three and that's no good. Carroll hauled down the uh, rebound. And Perez guarding Kanoi. His Prentice, pass was tipped, found its way to Hogan. And Prentice is called for traveling. Ball will go to the Lady Broncos. Seven oh five to go in the first half. Broncos trying to make sure they don't get run out of the gym. Perez, nice pass to Cologne. Cologne shot is no good, but it's chased down by Harris. Cologne, another chance, that's no good. And knocked out of bounds by Escobar. So Queensboro ball with 6.49 remaining in the first. Queensboro looking for their first CUNY title since 2011. They were coached by Joe Medina. And that was actually their fourth title in a row. Nice pass to Hogan. And Hogan is fouled. Nice pass by Prentice. And that's the second foul on Chelsea Harris. Hogan missed two free throws earlier. Queen throw shot just 55% last game, 11 for 20 from the line as Hogan hits the first, and it's 26-12. Hogan looking to make both, misses the second and it's rebounded by Rodriguez. Escobar being defended by Kanoi. Perez was asking for it, gets it. Pass was tipped and turned over. Hogan took it away for Queensboro. There's a loose ball, Perez gets it to Escobar. Escobar is gonna be called for traveling. The teams trade turnovers and Queensboro will have it with 6.15 remaining in the first. And Tylacia Davis goes in for the Bronx. on the court for Queensboro right now. Prentice, Gonzalez, Kanoi, Carroll, and Hogan. Kanoi bounce pass to Prentice. Back to Kanoi. And Kanoi takes a deep three, it's no good. Offensive rebound by Hogan. Hogan put, couldn't put it in off glass, it ends up in Kanoi's hands and Queensboro will reset. Prentice to Kanoi. Guarded by Murray. Going outside, Hogan, baseline shot is an air ball, and there's a tie-up. Now we'll stay with Queensboro. Good play by Carroll. 
11 seconds on the shot clock for QCC. Prentice was fouled. That's going to be number one on Davis. Broncos foul, charge for number 11, Alicia Davis. That's a first. Team's sixth. Prentice at the line. Prentice misses the first free throw. That was team foul number six against the Lady Broncos. Prentice splits the free throws, it's 27-12. Biggest lead of the game so far, 15 points. As a foul is called against QCC. That was on Whitney Hogan, her first, team's third. Davis to Escobar. Escobar, bounce pass to Murray. And that shot was blocked by Carroll. Here comes Queensboro the other way, Kanoi. Kanoi going all the way to the basket and it's good. 29-12. Lead is up to 17 as Murray's shot is off. And there's a reach and foul against the Bronx. And so that'll be a one and one situation as the second foul is called on Murray. And Octavia Eubanks goes in for the Lady Broncos. So Gonzalez at the line for a one and one. Gonzalez misses. Queensboro on a 12 nothing run. Here's Escobar. Escobar going to the basket. Wave off the basket, traveling is called. So no basket for Escobar. And another timeout being called by Bronx Community. 4.46 to go in the first half, it's 29-12 Queensboro. 4.46 remaining in the first half, 30 second timeout, Broncos. Look at the balance Queensboro has, why they're so tough to defend. You have Kanoi, who's averaging 18 points per game. Prentice averaging a little over 15. Carroll averaging a little over 12. Carroll also averaging about 12 rebounds per game. Kanoi leading the team in assists as well with 5.3. For Bronx, you have Escobar leading in points per game and rebounds per game. Dray Murray leading in assists per game. Kelsey Harris pretty good at pulling down some rebounds, 6.7 a game. And now some pressure put on by the Bronx. Kanoi falls down and keeps the dribble somehow. And the pass, it's turned over. And Escobar's gonna go in for the layup. 29-14. So the full court press giving Queensboro a little trouble. And Kanoi is called for carrying. So Pizza Payton may have surprised the Lady Tigers with this full court press. I imagine they'll keep putting it on until Queensboro stops turning it over. The three pointer by Eubanks is off. Now fast break opportunity, Prentice going all the way to the basket and misses. Now Bronx coming back the other way. Escobar, shot was short. Full helter skelter pace right now. And that's last touch by the Lady Broncos. 4.02 to go in the first half, Queensboro leads 29-14. And 
enter the game for the Broncos is number two, Natasha Arzwaga. Natasha Arzwaga now in for Bronx, guarding the inbound. Prentice being guarded by Harris, who has to be careful not to pick up her third foul. Kanoi. Kanoi's jumper is good. Kanoi with the friendly roll. She now has 11 points. 31 14. The lead is back up to 17. And Kanoi with the steal. And Kanoi's going to go all the way. And it's 33 14. Lead is up to 19, and there's another turnover. And a foul called against the Lady Broncos. Fouls against Arzwaga, her first, team's eighth. Kanoi at the line for one and one. As Quinasha Moore getting ready to go in for Queensboro. Gonzalez will go to the bench. Kanoi makes the first, it's 34-14. So Lady Broncos have 14 and Kanoi has 14. And DeRay Murray goes back in for the Bronx. Kanoi makes both, it's 35-14. Kanoi with more points than all of the Lady Broncos. 3.17 to go in the first half. Biggest lead of the game so far, it's 21 now. Lady Broncos trying to get down to about 15 at halftime. Three pointer from Eubanks is no good. That's Ted Prentice with the ball. And she heard footsteps from behind, so slowed it up. Kanoi outside of Prentice. Give a little shot fake. As to Kanoi. Back to Prentice who puts up a three and it's good. Prentice from downtown. 38-14. Queensboro dominating. Prentice now with 14 points. 38-14. Murray back to Escobar. Escobar with 12 points for the Lady Broncos. And that three pointer is no good. Kanoi, Escobar between her and the basket and Kanoi is fouled and Escobar just picked up number three. Kanoi was smart to go after her. I think Escobar may sit out the last two minutes and 15 seconds to avoid picking up number four in the first half. Queensboro won a 21 to 2 run. Kanoi misses the first. And Escobar will go to the bench. Yamalette Perez is back in for the Lady Broncos. As Kanoi splits the free throws, it's 39-14. Kanoi with 16 points. Still 2-12 to play in the first half. And there's a foul against Queensboro. Only the fourth team foul. First foul on Quinasha Moore. Cologne to Murray. There's Perez for three, and that's no good. Rebounded by Moore, and that's going to be a tie-up. And the Lady Broncos will keep it on the alternating possession. 1.56 to play. Cologne 
See where the scoring comes from with uh, Escobar on the bench. And there's a foul. See if the refs say that's in the act of shooting. Foul is on Mecca Witherspoon. And that will be a two shot foul. Deray Murray still looking for her first points. And still looking. Murray splits the free throws, it's 39-15. Queensboro leading by 24. 145 to go in the first half. Can't play a much better half in a championship game than Queensboro has played here. Prentice hits a three-pointer, it's 42-15. Prentice now with 17. Lead is up to 27. And that shot is no good. Kanoi, nice dribbling and now going all the way to the basket and Kanoi lays it in. An absolute clinic being put on by Kanoi and Prentice. 44-15. And a reach and foul called. Queensboro still had one to give. 104 remaining in the half. No free throws yet, they'll take it out of bounds. As the second foul was called on Quinasha Moore. Cologne being guarded by Hogan. And Cologne's shot was altered, no good. Queensboro ball. Last minute of the first half. Here's Witherspoon looking for her first points of the game. She misses. Lady Broncos with the ball. Murray. Murray outside. Perez. Shot is no good. About a six second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Pass was tipped and found its way to Kanoi. Kanoi left all alone. And that three pointer is no good. Bronx can hold for the final shot. 15 seconds left in the first half. Eubanks going in all the way and the shot is no good. 10 seconds left, Queensboro will have another chance. Down to seven, six. Prentice with five seconds. No basket, double dribble. And a double dribble is called. One last chance for Lady Broncos. Four and two, 10 seconds remaining. And Murray's gonna try to beat the buzzer. The three-pointer is no good. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first half. What a half for the Lady Tigers. Kanoi and Prentice combining for 35 points. Queensboro up 44-15 and 20 minutes away from the CUNY Championship. Second half about to begin. Queensboro 20 minutes away from CUNY Championship number five. They lead 44-15. Santana Canoy had 18 points in the first half. Giselle Prentice had 17. Prentice, a corner three, is good. Picking up right where she left off in the first half. 47-15. And that shot is no good. The lead is 32 now. In case you were wondering, the biggest CUNY championship game blowout was 57 to five back in 2001. 
The game was actually at QCC. BMCC beat Kingsborough in that one. Kingsborough went without a point for the first 18 and a half minutes. And that shot is no good. It's rebounded by Hogan. And tip knocked around. And Kanoi hits the ground. There's a two on one, but traveling is going to be called. Wave off the basket. Don't know where Bronx would be without Escobar, who had 12 points. 12 out of 15 for the Lady Broncos in the first half. This Chelsea Harris is going to go to the bench and be looked at by a trainer. Yamalette Perez back in. I think the second half, I don't want to speak too soon, but really be more of a coronation. Actual game, of course, last year's title game looked like it was over. GMCC was up by 18 with a few minutes to go, and Hostos cut it to one. How about Queensboro leading by 32, and Carroll only has two points. What a pass from Kanoi, and Hogan finishes. 49-15. Lee just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's actually 17-12 at one point. And there's an air ball from Escobar. How do you like a 32-3 run from the Lady Tigers? I think the question is who's going to get player of the game, Prentice or Kanoi? There's a little fast break opportunity for the Lady Broncos. Foul is going to be called against QCC. First foul on Prentice. And that pass is picked off by Prentice. And the Lady Broncos take it back. Bronx will keep it on the alternating possession arrow. Interesting, Queensboro, I mean, whoever wins this game would be the third champion in three years. Kingsboro won in 2012. BMCC won in 2013. So it's funny to think about three different champions in three different years because the early years of this tournament marked by dynasties, BMCC won six in a row from 1998 through 2003. And Hostos won four in a row from 04 to 07. Then Queensboro won four in a row from 08 to 11 as Hogan makes it 51-15. He had all these teams winning multiple titles in a row. And then Kingsborough had their one year where they beat BMCC in the title game as that three-pointer is no good. And then Kingsborough missed the playoffs each of the last two years. And then BMCC won in 2013. They didn't even field a team this year. Hogan, well, the shot is no good. And then Murray wasn't looking for the pass, and Queensboro has it. And it's a backcourt violation. It was just thrown out of bounds. Queensboro up by 36 with 17 minutes to go. When LaGuardia hears of this, they're going to wonder, how did Bronx beat us? LaGuardia led that game by 15 as Pizza Pay to calls timeout. I think Queensboro was a little happy they didn't have to face LaGuardia. LaGuardia was the one team that beat them in CUNY. Queensboro had beaten LaGuardia by 25 in Bayside, and then they met again at LaGuardia. And LaGuardia was the one team that kept it close. They played, they played with Queensboro for 40 minutes. And Queensboro had about five turnovers in 75 seconds towards the end of that game, kept shooting themselves in the foot. And LaGuardia won by nine. I think Queensboro was very happy when they learned that they would be facing Bronx. You never know a player like Ivelisse Escobar who wins CUNY Player of the Year. Always a little uh, hesitant to go against them in the title game. Because you know, just one girl who can keep scoring can keep a team around, but that hasn't been the case tonight. Wondered how long Bronx could hang around when it was 17-12. Queensborough has been on a 34-3 run. Started off this half 7-0 in the first three minutes and two seconds.
Queensboro not a bad way. They're going into the regional playoffs, the Region 15 playoffs. They are the four seed. They have a game on Tuesday. And if they win that, then they go to Suffolk, two games away from Nationals. And they are really hitting their peak at the right time. I mean, given the circumstances and everything, this may be their most impressive performance of the year. Still about 17 minutes to play. Wonder what Pizza Payta tells his team. You're down by 36 with under 17 minutes to go. Escobar misses. The foul is going to be called against Hogan. That's her second. So Hogan called for pushing off. And only three Lady Broncos have scored. It's Escobar with 12, Cologne with two. There's another foul is called against Queensboro, and DeRay Murray with one. There's the second foul on Kanoi. Here was a Queensboro team that was on a mission after losing in the CUNY semifinals to Hostos last year. Escobar misses the first. As Chelsea Harris goes back in for Cologne. Escobar makes it 51-16. Of course, the Bronx fans aren't going to go home just yet. The men are in the CUNY championship game against Hostos. That should be a tremendous game as Prentice is double teamed and it's turned over. And Escobar is going to go in for the layup. It's 51 18. And Escobar with 15 Escobar. points. Bronx in a full court press. He gave Queensboro a little trouble. It was 29 12 with the full court press. His Prentice misses, and Escobar is there for the rebound. And Escobar misses that, rebounded by Harris. That's no good. And Chantana Kanoi in her last season with Queensboro. And Prentice called for a double dribble. This was important. This was the last chance for a few players on QCC. Of course, Candija Carroll is going to be back next year. His name CUNY Rookie of the Year. But for Kanoi and Prentice, this was the last chance at a CUNY championship, at least at the two-year level. Wouldn't be surprised to see them in the uh, four-year ranks. And Escobar takes a long two, that's off, rebounded by Perez. And Murray going to the basket, that's no good. Don't know what Bronx is shooting as a team. Must be in the low 20s terms of percentage. 51-18 Queensboro, 15-20 to play. And that shot is no good, Rodriguez puts it in off glass. Kaylee Rodriguez gets in the scoring column. It's 51-20. Timeout taken by David Chambers, a 32nd timeout. David Chambers, what a job he's done this year. He was named CUNY Coach of the Year. His Lady Tigers went seven and one in conference play. He was an assistant coach for a while, now a head coach in his second season. He was an assistant under Joe Medina, who won Coach of the Year in 2008. He was under Bob DiNardo, who's watching here tonight. Now the head coach at Kingsboro. In Queensboro now 15 minutes and 11 seconds away from the CUNY championship. 
BCUNY title number five, the one that's eluded them each of the last two seasons. And Bronx putting on some pressure again. And Kanoi couldn't save it, so there's a turnover. So Bronx will have the ball down by 31. And the foul is called before the shot. And there's the first foul on Fidel. And that was almost turned over, being guarded by Hogan in the corner. Gets it out to Perez. Under 15 minutes to play. And there's a long two. It's no good. And rebounded by Kanoi. Nice pass to Fidel. Pass intended for Prentice was tipped and turned over. This is a Queensboro team doing it without Sabrina Rodriguez. Remember, she was named Region Player of the Year in 2012 and sat out the 2012-13 season. Came back early last year. That was just for a few games. Queensboro right now is playing its best basketball since the beginning of the year. There's another turnover. Murray couldn't put it in, then got her own rebound and was fouled by Fidel. And there's the second foul on Fidel. A few of the CUNY championship games over the last year have been Queensboro versus the Bronx. Last year, the men's basketball teams faced. Is that shot went over the backboard? The Broncos men beat Queensboro 83-68. The uh, baseball teams met as well. Queensboro won 23-14. Wild baseball game, they were down 10-2. And still uh, were able to win by nine. Noy, Gonzalez, nice pass to Carroll. And Carroll puts it in off glass. Just Carroll's second basket of the game. It's 53-20. And Carol has been so quiet after the other night when she put 24 and 21. As Prentice finishes, it's 55 20. Prentice. Prentice outscoring the Bronx. It's Prentice 22, Broncos 20. That shot is no good. Broncos shot, no good again. And Carol with the rebound. Queensboro up by 35. Oh, fired it to Carroll. Great pass, great finish, 57-20. The lead is 37 now. As Gonzalez hit the ground. And Escobar scores. Escobar with 17 out of the 22 Broncos points. This is the way you like to win a title in Queensboro. Sure you like a dramatic game also, but you like to be able to count down. Not every game has to be stressful. So there's a turnover and Escobar going all the way and lays it in. And Escobar with 19 points, but it's 57-24 Queensboro. And Prentice going inside. Gonzalez puts it in. Lead is back up to 35. Number 
And that's banked in. That's a two-pointer. DeRay Murray with the first field goal of the game. It's 59-26. There's a steal, and that basket is good by Murray. So the 35-point lead is down at 31. 11.35 to go. Wonder if Bronx could take this game the way BMCC took a CUNY title game loss two years ago. Count it and the foul. Kanoi makes it 61-28. 20 points for Kanoi now. And Kanoi finishes the three-point play. 62-28. As I was saying before, BMCC lost a title game in 2012. They lost a tough title game to Kingsboro. Then they came back the next year and won the CUNY title. And using that loss as motivation as it stays with QCC. 11.07 left. As Eubanks goes back in for the Lady Broncos. Prentice takes a long two, and that's good. Everything has been falling today. It's 64-28. That three-pointer is an air ball. Prentice and Kanoi with 45 points combined. And Hogan was on the line, ball to the Bronx. Wonder when David Chambers will take out some of his starters. Won't be too soon, this is when it gets fun. Like to be out there in a title game up by 36. 10.38 to go. And there's a foul called against Queensboro. It's gonna be number two on Prentice. This is the most dominating title game since 2007. I was say when Hosto speed Queensboro 60 to 12. That was 4-4 at one point in that game. And Hostos went on the 19-1 run to end the first half. And again the second half on a 26-2 run. It's not quite as dominant as that. As Kanoi hits a three-pointer. 67-28. Bronx couldn't answer back. Lady Tigers have it. And then it's turned over. 9.56 to go. Queens row up by 39. And Queensboro was the clear favorite in this game. With the number one seed. Bronx was the three seed. Coming in after beating the number two seed, LaGuardia Redhawks. I don't think anybody in their wildest dreams would have thought they would be up by 39. But 9.45 to go. Escobar's shot is no good. Escobar won player of the year this year. As a freshman, as a foul is called against Queensboro. And that's the second foul on Witherspoon. He's at Cologne at the line. She has two points tonight. Misses the first. As Woldelka Salmanzar goes in for Queensboro, Whitney Hogan goes to the bench. Maybe Chambers will try to get everybody in this game, I'm sure. Can afford to. Sometimes it's tough in the title game when it's going right down to the wire. And it's not just about getting everybody in. As both free throws are off. 
And then Prentice rips it away. And Prentice is going all the way. And Prentice will go to the line for two shots. There's the third foul on DeRay Murray. Three Lady Broncos have three fouls. Harris, Escobar, and Murray. Prentice misses the first. This is the best CUNY game Queensboro has played this year. That includes the two wins over Kingsboro, the three wins over Hostos. Prentice makes it a 40 point game. Escobar couldn't put it in, loose ball. Picked up by Murray. Forty point lead for Queensboro. Nine minutes remaining. Bronx has just been cold today. As Queensboro gets it on the alternating possession arrow. This is called drop ball possession going to the Tigers. Is Witherspoon is Finally covered. Gonzalez inbounding. Prentice. Dang across half court. Prentice bounce pass. Witherspoon couldn't put it in. I think they may try to get some of the backups in the scoring column. Witherspoon had a good shot there, but missed. And Kanoy dribbles out with it. Numbers for Queensboro. Up ahead, Almanzar puts it in off glass. As the Queensboro bench goes crazy. Manzar makes it 70-28. Crowd loving that as well. Queensboro leads by 42. And there's a foul. Murray will go to the line. And the biggest CUNY title game blowout ever was 52. Lead is 42 now with 8.17 to go. As Gonzalez picks up her second foul. First free throw is no good. And I think Bronx is one score away. From real, I don't want to say competing for a CUNY title is that free throw is no good because they're in the title game. They could definitely win it next year, especially if Escobar is going to come back. I mean, the rest of the team outside of Escobar has nine points. His Prentice misses after a nice crossover. Queensboro eight minutes away from the CUNY championship. As Murray goes in and misses. And Kanoi going all the way to the basket. Count it on the foul. Kanoi makes it 72-28. What a clinic being put on by the Lady Tigers. Kanoi now with 27 points. It's 73-28. Queensboro up by 45 with 740 remaining. Harris, the rebound, put back no good, another rebound. That shot is no good. And Kanoi another rebound. Kanoi really filling the stat sheet. That's out of bounds. It'll stay with Queensboro. As Chelsea Hampton now goes in for Queensboro. Like a Witherspoon to the bench. Pass somehow finds its way to Kanoi after being tipped. See if they try to get Hampton a basket here. Prentice, outside Almanzar, long two, 
and it's banked in. Almonds are another basket at 75-28. When it's going your way, it's going your way, and Queensboro is up by 47, under seven minutes away from the CUNY Championship. Countdown has been underway for some time. This Bronx will have it with 11 seconds on the shot clock. 646 remaining in the second half. Timeout on the floor. Timeout called with 646 remaining. Queensboro leads 75 28. I wonder if there are a lot of fast break layups at the end of this game, which there could be when a game turns into a blow like this. The record for points in a CUNY playoff game on the women's side is 98, which was done by Hostos in 2004. I wonder if Queensboro can be the first team to hit the 100 mark. I think they may fall a bit short of that. We'll see. They have 75. Still 646 remaining. Game was 44 15 at halftime. Bronx looked like they may hang around a while. It was 17 12. And then Queensboro just dominated the end of the first half, ended it on a 27 3 run. And this half has just been basically one big celebration. Bronx has been missing everything from everywhere today. Side of Pivoli's Escobar who has 19 points. The Lady Broncos will have the ball with 11 seconds on the shot clock. And Escobar takes a long two, it's no good. It's an offensive rebound, Cologne couldn't score. And then Cologne is, well they call it traveling against Hampton. The so Broncos will have the ball back. On the men's side, the Broncos are gonna go for their fourth consecutive title Standing between title number four and the Broncos are the Hostos Caymans. The regular season CUNY champions led by Dr. Jody King, who just won CUNY Coach of the Year honors, and Tyree White, who was named CUNY Player of the Year on the men's side. Prentice couldn't score, but Queensboro will keep it as it goes off a of Bronco. Almanzar, see if Almanzar takes another shot. Ben Trilly goes crazy when she shoots. Six minutes to play. Queensboro up 75-30. Escobar now with 21 points. You know Escobar is gonna be named to the uh, all tournament team. A great game she had against LaGuardia, 29 points, 16 rebounds. 21 more points here. Nescobar takes another shot, and that's no good. Moore chases down the rebound. Now Prentice is going to go all the way to the basket and lay it in. Prentice. Prentice has just tied her teammate Kanoi with 27 points to lead all scorers. And Cologne, nice move, but couldn't score. 77-30, five minutes to go. 
And Moore takes a long two, that's no good. Rebounded by Colon. And we'll see when some of the Queensboro Stars come out of the game as Escobar makes it 77-32. And somehow Prentice gets it, throws it to Hampton, and Hampton scores! Chelsea Hampton finds her way in the scoring column. 79-32. Murray couldn't answer back. They would also like to see Moore and Witherspoon score as Kanoy is fouled with 4.17 to go. And Escobar looking to see why she was called for the foul. That's Escobar's fourth. So four fouls on Escobar. But she's going to stay in until the end. I believe, maybe not. See, there are two Lady Broncos getting ready to go in as Kanoi is at the line. And makes the first. 80-32. And Escobar will go to the bench. Kanoi now with 28 points. Make it 29, it's 81-32. Four minutes and 10 seconds remaining. A little competition, see uh, if Kanoi or Prentice finishes the game with more points. As Moore is called for a third foul. And Fidel goes in, and Giselle Prentice is going to go to the bench for Queensboro. And look at the hand she gets from the bench. 27 points for Prentice. Rodriguez misses the front end of a one and one. Queensboro ball, shot didn't hit the rim. Queensboro just four minutes away from the CUNY championship, leading by 49, and Almanzar's shot is no good. There's a three-pointer by Eubanks, which is no good. And there's a tie-up. It'll stay with the Bronx. 3.43 remaining. Wouldn't be surprised if we see the Lady Broncos back in this title game next year. It's really one more scorer away. As Queensboro can go up by 51 right now. And Almanzar puts it in off glass. 83-32. Queensboro, this could be the biggest blowout in CUNY title game history. It's a 51 point game. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go. In a game like this, when a team wins a title, trying to think about all the great Queensboro players that came before and had a hand in those four titles. Taniqua Tiberi, Melissa De Jesus, Olivia Strachan, Zaconja Bethea, Kiara Bryant. I think back and how many great players were at QCC over the years. And the coaches, Eureka Jung. We didn't win a title, but started building them up from really nothing. And then Joe Medina, who won four in a row. As Moore will try to get in the scoring column and misses. Two and a half minutes to play. Another miss from the Bronx. And a foul called. 
Nice way to go into the Region 15 playoffs if you're Queensboro. Hey, they're three wins away from Nationals. And Shantana Kanoi is going to go to the bench. And she'll get a hand just like Prentice got. Looking Sabrina Moore. What a performance tonight by Queensboro. As Fidel makes it 85-32. It's a 53 point game. Bronx doesn't want to be on the wrong side of history. Under two minutes to play. Now Manzar will stay with Queensboro. And now Mecca Witherspoon comes in for Queensboro. And Chelsea Hanton is going to go to the bench for Queensboro. Or they'll get somebody off. It's going to be Almanzar instead. Hogan. We'll see if Moore can get a basket before this game ends. It's Witherspoon to Hogan. And Hogan counted on the foul. Eighty-seven thirty-two. This is one of the all-time great performances in CUNY playoff history. <laughs> Queensboro leading by fifty-five with less than a hundred seconds to play. Eight different Lady Tigers have scored. Eighty seconds to go. This one a little devoid of drama, but I don't think Queensboro will be complaining. So that basket is good by Rodriguez. Queensboro, one minute away. They'll stay with Queensboro. What a dominant performance, just an absolute clinic put on tonight. Bronx happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's another tie up is called. I don't think it mattered who Queensboro was facing tonight. You can say what you want about LaGuardia had beaten Queensboro earlier in the season, didn't get the and get, didn't get another chance at them. I don't think it would have mattered when you see Queensboro tonight. As Eubanks makes a three-pointer. Eubanks gets in the scoring column. Weed is 50. That, that shot may have uh, saved Bronx from losing the biggest blowout in CUNY title game history. It's a 50-point game. Still pretty dominating. As Hogan is fouled. And Hogan is going to be at the line. Eighty-eight thirty-seven. 37 Hogan makes the first. And makes the second, 89-37. Queensboro never trailed in this game. Never trailed against Hostos either. So that basket is good. 89-39. Like two playoff games, they never trailed. That's domination. 
It's an impressive win over Hostos to win by 16. See if Queensboro takes one more shot. 10 seconds left. And they're going to take it out. If you'd like a 16 point win in the semifinals, how about a 50 point win in the CUNY Championship game? Queensboro is back on top. The Lady Tigers win it, 89-39. Queensboro for the first time in 2011 of the CUNY champions. Look at this celebration. There's David Chambers shaking hands with Peter Cepeda. Cepeda going back with this team, but there's Queensboro at half court. Queensboro winning the CUNY championship again. Total domination. Like Giselle Prentice had 27 points. Shantana Kanoi had 29. Celebrating on the bench. Medals and trophies are set up at half court now. Queensboro letting CUNY know they're number one. Nobody's doubting that after the 89-39 win over the Lady Broncos. I think Bronx will come back strong, but this was Queensboro's year. Now the post-game ceremonies begin. Bronx Community College. Take their runner-up trophy.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the Bronx Community College Broncos. We'll begin with number 23, Dominique Edwards. Dominique Edwards, number 23. Number 22, Octavia Eubanks. Number 2, Natasha Arzuega. David Chambers accepting the championship trophy. Once again, we invite the team captains to swag. I mean, walk on up to the awards table. Trophies will. Trophy will be handed to the captains. There's Kanoi and Prentice and Fidel. And David Chambers, the CUNY Coach of the Year. The assistant coaches, Teresa Rodriguez, Herman Crump, Sabrina Moore, Elisa Sanchez also in there. Champions. 
We'll begin with number 12, Sofia Lopez. Number 41, Mecca Witherspoon. Number 30, Chelsea Hansen. Number 22, celebrating their fifth CUNY championship. Totally dominated the Lady Broncos, Shantana Kanoi being named the MVP of the tournament, scored 29 points in the title game. Fans, 
for the video title against the Hostos Community College Payments. Okay, this is scheduled for 8.30, and we're brought to you live with Rockstack Cable Television and Rockstack.org backslash event. Great game for Kanoi, really a great season for Kanoi, great season for the Tigers. And they're the CUNY champions. This is QCC alum David Russell. Once again, Queensboro beats Bronx 89-39. Queensboro is number one again. The trainer, the official scores, the people working the table, we thank you for making tonight possible. One down, one to go, championship Friday, ladies and gentlemen, here at Kingsboro Community College. Host of the 2013-2014 Kitty Athletic Conference Mobile Sporting Goods Applebee's Basketball Championships.